What's up, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, bringing you another GTA San Andreas mission walkthrough video. If you've gone through all of the heist missions that you are capable of doing, and you find that you are now stuck, well, in order to get to the final heist mission, there is a few other missions you have to do and deal with that will eventually unlock the final heist mission where you steal from Cliglia's casino. Now, this mission is a crash mission. Officer Tenpenny doesn't call CJ up doesn't harass him, a uh, blue icon, a blue C, just appears on the map at some point after you've done a mission, I believe, architectural espionage. And if you don't do this um, crash mission, i.e. meet up with Tenpenny and Pulaski, and go through with this mission, well, you're kind of locked out. You can't continue on. So you have to do this mission, and it's called Misappropriation. I made a few minor mistakes, but I managed to succeed in the mission. So let's go on, and let's get on with the walkthrough. Hello, Carl. Been a long time, huh? Yeah, I was starting to miss you guys. Now, why don't I believe you? Get over here! Now, things have developed since the last time we met. Despite our best efforts, the gig's nearly up. I'm sure you'll find some way to keep your badge. Your kind always do. You still don't get it, do you, Carl? This ain't about keeping some fucking badge. Hey, listen to the man. We all the same, Carl. You, me. We all trying to pull ourselves out of the hole. Somebody steps on me, I gotta step on you. Where's Hernandez with that fucking meat? He's been gone too long, Tenpenny. <laughs> Getting a little edgy, fellas? <coughs> How you like that, you piece of shit? <coughs> That give you any idea how edgy I am? Whoa! Get up, bitch! You paying attention? Now there's a ruined town out west of here. Aldea Malvada. And there's some piece of shit DEA officer meeting with an FBI agent with a dossier. Now you get the dossier and you make both of them disappear. Tenpenny is now on edge because the FBI is getting closer to his dirty racket. And you think he was a real douchebag when you first met him? Yeah, he's becoming a real douchebag. And now CJ has to travel all the way out in the desert to a abandoned town and um, basically get a dozier and this is kind of where i screwed up i'm gonna fast forward to the beginning of the mission when i arrived at the abandoned town my first thought was use the sniper rifle and so i zoomed in and tried to take out a few of the guys and they're armed with AKs, and then the target is right back there. Now, once I took down one of these guys with a sniper rifle, it alerted the target, and now he's going to try and escape. Well, the target takes off in a helicopter, and these guys, well, to be honest with you, 
yeah, you really don't want to mess with them. You're better off grabbing the remaining helicopter and using that to chase the target. But I spent way too much time shooting at these agents. But luckily, the target didn't get too far away. And I wasn't going to be able to chase him down. So what did I do? Walk back to the car and try and get to the other helicopter, which, again, was a waste of time, but thankfully the target didn't get too far ahead. He's a bad pilot. Now, once I got into the helicopter, all I had to do was chase the target to his next destination, and you don't want to do anything, just follow behind the guy. The target leads you on a merry chase all the way through Las Venturas until he gets to the Emerald Isle Casino where he lands. And now you have to land and chase after him. And the thing is, the guy just kind of jumps right off of the edge of the building. Well, once you land, just get out and you can't shoot him. So just jump off, land and follow him down the stairs here into the parking garage where naturally he's going to grab a car and flee from you. So by the time you get to the parking garage, this guy is fleeing in a car, and you can shoot at him a little bit, but you're better off chasing after him and grabbing a vehicle. You don't want him to get away but he doesn't drive very quickly. And one of the things is, once you loop around this parking structure, there's actually a way you can cut down on time between you and your target. And that is, once you get to, I believe, the next level here, and right here is, nope, Another level down, actually, but once you get to the other level, here we have a ramp, and you just jump out of the ramp onto the roof, off the roof, and it puts you real close to the target who is driving. And I'm going to fast forward until you finally meet up with the target. If you stick by the um, target, he will eventually trap himself in this parking garage. He'll shoot at you with a pistol. Yeah, you just take him down with the M4, grab the dozier. You will not get called by Tenpenny. You have to not only do this mission, but you have to complete two other missions before Tenpenny calls you about the dozier. And then... He wants to meet you somewhere, and I will do future videos on these missions. But this one is a key one to start unlocking everything else. And you got to do this one mission before you can get on with the heist mission or any other missions. Well, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by. What would you like, sir? Here you go, enjoy.